GPS Block IIIA consists of the first 10 GPS-3 satellites, which will be used to keep the Navstar Global Positioning System operational. Lockheed Martin designed, developed and manufactured the GPS-3 non-flight satellite testbed and all 10 Block IIIA satellites. The first satellite in the series was projected to launch in 2014, but significant delays pushed the launch to December 2018. The tenth and final GPS Block IIIA launch is projected in Q2 2023. History The United States Global Positioning System GPS reached fully operational capability on July 17, 1995, completing its original design goals. However, additional advances in technology and new demands on the existing system led to the effort to modernize the GPS system. Announcements from the Vice President and the White House in 1998 initiated these changes. In 2000, the U.S. Congress authorized the effort, referred to as GPS-3. The project involves new ground stations and new satellites, with additional navigation signals for both civilian and military users, and aims to improve the accuracy and availability for all users. Raytheon was awarded the Next Generation GPS Operational Control System contract on February 25, 2010. Topic. Development Block IIIA satellites use Lockheed Martin's A2100 satellite bus structure. The propellant and pressurant tanks are manufactured by Orbital ATK from lightweight, high-strength composite materials. Each satellite will carry eight deployable jib antennas designed and manufactured by Northrop Grumman Astro Aerospace already delayed significantly beyond the first satellite's planned 2014 launch on April 27, 2016. Space Exploration Technologies Corp, SpaceX in Hawthorne, California, was awarded an $82.7 million firm fixed price contract for launch services to deliver a GPS-3 satellite to its intended orbit. The contract included launch vehicle production, mission integration, and launch operations for a GPS-3 mission, to be performed in Hawthorne, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, and McGregor, Texas. In December 2016, the director of the U.S. Air Force's Global Positioning Systems Directorate announced the first satellite would launch in the spring of 2018. In March 2017, the U.S. General Accounting Office stated, Technical issues with both the GPS-3 satellite and the OCX Block Zero launch control and checkout system have combined to place the planned March 2018 launch date for the first GPS-3 satellite at risk. The delays were caused by a number of factors, primarily due to issues found in the navigation payload. Further launch date slippages were caused by the need for additional testing and validation of a SpaceX Falcon 9 which ultimately launched the satellite on December 23, 2018. Future Block 3 variants are planned to incorporate additional capabilities. They include distress alerting satellite system DAS capabilities for search and rescue as well as satellite crosslinks for rapid command and reduced age of data on September 21, 2016, the US Air Force exercised a $395 million contract option with Lockheed Martin for the 9th and 10th Block IIIA space vehicles expected to be available for launch by 2022. Topic. New navigation signals Topic. Civilian L2 L2C. One of the first announcements was the addition of a new civilian use signal to be transmitted on a frequency other than the L1 frequency used for the existing GPS course acquisition signal. 
Ultimately, this became known as the L2C signal because it is broadcast on the L2 frequency 1227.6 MHz. It can be transmitted by all block IIRM and later design satellites. The original plan stated that until the new OCX block 1 system is in place, the signal would consist of a default message type 0 that contains no navigational data. OCX Block 1 with the L2C navigation data was scheduled to enter service in February 2016, but has been delayed until 2022 or later. As a result of OCX delays, the L2C signal was decoupled from the OCX deployment schedule. All satellites capable of transmitting the L2C signal all GPS satellites launched since 2005 began broadcasting pre-operational civil navigation CNAV messages in April 2014, and in December 2014 the Air Force started transmitting CNAV uploads on a daily basis. The L2C signal will be considered fully operational after it is being broadcast by at least 24 space vehicles, currently projected to happen in 2021. As of October 2017, L2C was being broadcast from 19 satellites. The L2C signal is tasked with providing improved accuracy of navigation, providing an easy to track signal, and acting as a redundant signal in case of localized interference. The immediate effect of having two civilian frequencies being transmitted from one satellite is the ability to directly measure, and therefore remove, the ionospheric delay error for that satellite. Without such a measurement, a GPS receiver must use a generic model or receive ionospheric corrections from another source such as a satellite-based augmentation system. Advances in technology for both the GPS satellites and the GPS receivers have made ionospheric delay the largest source of error in the C.A. signal. A receiver capable of performing this measurement is referred to as a dual-frequency receiver. Its technical characteristics are L2C contains two distinct PRN sequences. CM for civilian moderate length code is 10230 bits in length repeating every 20 milliseconds CL for civilian long length code is 767250 bits repeating every 1500 milliseconds i.e. every 1.5s each signal is transmitted at 511,500 bits per second bit s. However, they are multiplexed to form a 1,023,000 bit s signal. CM is modulated with a 25 bit s navigation message with forward error correction, whereas CL contains no additional modulated data. The long, non-data CL sequence provides for approximately 24 dB greater correlation protection approximately 250 times stronger than L1C.A. L2C signal characteristics provide 2.7 dB greater data recovery and 0.7 dB greater carrier tracking than L1C.A. The L2C signal's transmission power is 2.3 dB weaker than the L1C.A signal. In a single frequency application, L2C has 65% more ionospheric error than L1, it is defined in IS GPS 200. Military M code A major component of the modernization process, a new military signal called M-Code was designed to further improve the anti-jamming and secure access of the military GPS signals. The M-Code is transmitted in the same L1 and L2 frequencies already in use by the previous military code, the P -Y code. The new signal is shaped to place most of its energy at the edges away from the existing P -Y and C -A carriers. Unlike the PY code, the M code is designed to be autonomous, meaning that users can calculate their positions using only the M code signal. PY code receivers must typically first lock onto the CA code and then transfer to lock onto the PY code. 
In a major departure from previous GPS designs, the M code is intended to be broadcast from a high gain directional antenna, in addition to a wide angle full Earth antenna. The directional antenna's signal, termed a spot beam, is intended to be aimed at a specific region, i.e., several hundred kilometers in diameter, and increase the local signal strength by 20 decibels, 10 times voltage field strength, 100 times power. A side effect of having two antennas is that, for receivers inside the spot beam, the GPS satellite will appear to be two GPS satellites occupying the same position. While the full Earth M code signal is available on the Block IIRM satellites, the spot beam antennas will not be available until the Block 3 satellites are deployed. Like the other new GPS signals, M code is dependent on OCX specifically Block 2 which was scheduled to enter service in October 2016, but which has been delayed until 2022, and that initial date did not reflect the two-year first satellite launch delay expected by the GAO. Other M-code characteristics are Satellites will transmit two distinct signals from two antennas, one for whole Earth coverage, one in a spot beam. Binary offset carrier modulation Occupies 24 MHz of bandwidth It uses a new MNAV navigational message, which is packetized instead of framed, allowing for flexible data payloads There are four effective data channels, different data can be sent on each frequency and on each antenna It can include FEC and error detection the spot beam is approximately 20 dB more powerful than the whole Earth coverage beam M code signal at Earth surface, minus 158 dBW for whole Earth antenna, minus 138 dBW for spot beam antennas. Topic: <laughs> Safety of life L5. Safety of life is a civilian use signal broadcast on the L5 frequency 1176.45 MHz. In 2009, a WAS satellite sent the initial L5 signal test transmissions. SVN62, the first GPS block IIF satellite, continuously broadcast the L5 signal starting on June 28, 2010. As a result of schedule delays to the GPS-3 control segment, the L5 signal was decoupled from the OCX deployment schedule. All satellites capable of transmitting the L5 signal all GPS satellites launched since May 2010 began broadcasting pre-operational civil navigation messages in April 2014, and in December 2014 the Air Force started transmitting CNAV uploads on a daily basis. The L5 signal will be considered fully operational once at least 24 space vehicles are broadcasting the signal, currently projected to happen in 2024. As of April 18, 2017, L5 was being broadcast from 12 satellites. Improves signal structure for enhanced performance Higher transmission power than L1 or L2C signal approximately 3 decibels, or twice as powerful Wider bandwidth, yielding a 10 times processing gain. Longer spreading codes, 10 times longer than used on the CA code. Located in the Aeronautical Radio Navigation Services band, a frequency band that is available worldwide. WRC 2000 added space signal component to this aeronautical band so the aviation community can manage interference to L5 more effectively than L2. It is defined in is GPS 705. Topic: <laughs> New civilian L1 L1C. L1C is a civilian use signal to be broadcast on the same L1 frequency, 1575.42 MHz, that contains the CA signal used by all current GPS users. L1C broadcasting will start when GPS-3 control segment OCX Block 1 becomes operational, currently scheduled for 2022. 
The L1C signal will reach full operational status when being broadcast from at least 24 GPS Block 3 satellites, currently projected for the late 2020s. Implementation will provide C.A code to ensure backward compatibility Assured of 1.5 dB increase in minimum C.A code power to mitigate any noise floor increase Non-data signal component contains a pilot carrier to improve tracking Enables greater civil interoperability with Galileo L1 It is defined in IS GPS 800 Topic. Improvements Increased signal power at the Earth's surface M code, minus 158 dBW, minus 138 dBW L1 and L2, minus 157 dBW for the C, A code signal and minus 160 dBW for the P, Y code signal L5 will be minus 154 dBW. Researchers from the Aerospace Corporation confirmed that the most efficient means to generate the high power M code signal would entail a departure from full Earth coverage, characteristic of all the user downlink signals up until that point. Instead, a high gain antenna would be used to produce a directional spot beam several hundred kilometers in diameter. Originally, this proposal was considered as a retrofit to the planned Block IIF satellites. Upon closer inspection, program managers realized that the addition of a large deployable antenna, combined with the changes that would be needed in the operational control segment, presented too great a challenge for the existing system design. NASA has requested that Block 3 satellites carry laser retro reflectors. This allows tracking the orbits of the satellites independent of the radio signals, which allows satellite clock errors to be disentangled from ephemeris errors. This, a standard feature of GLONASS, will be included in the Galileo positioning system, and was included as an experiment on two older GPS satellites satellites 35 and 36. The USAF is working with NASA to add a distress alerting satellite system DAS payload to the second increment of GPS-3 satellites as part of the MEOSAR search and rescue system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Control segment. The GPS Operational Control Segment OCS, consisting of a worldwide network of satellite operations centers, ground antennas and monitoring stations, provides command and control capabilities for GPS Block 2 satellites. The latest update to the GPS OCS, Architectural Evolution Plan 7.5, was installed on November 16, 2018. Topic. Next Generation Operational Control Segment In 2010, the United States Air Force announced plans to develop a modern control segment, a critical part of the GPS modernization initiative. OCS will continue to serve as the ground control system of record until the new system, Next Generation GPS Operational Control System OCX, is fully developed and functional. OCX features are being delivered to the United States Air Force in three separate phases, known as blocks. The OCX blocks are numbered 0 through 2. With each block delivered, OCX gains additional functionality. In June 2016, the U.S. Air Force formally notified Congress the OCX program's projected program costs had risen above $4.25 billion, thus exceeding baseline cost estimates of $3.4 billion by 25%, also known as a critical Nunn-McCurdy breach. Factors leading to the breach include inadequate systems engineering at program inception and the complexity of cybersecurity requirements on OCX. In October 2016, the Department of Defense formally certified the program, a necessary step to allow development to continue after a critical breach. 
Topic OCX Block Zero Launch and Checkout System. OCX Block Zero provides the minimum subset of full OCX capabilities necessary to support launch and early on orbit spacecraft bus checkout on GPS 3 space vehicles. Block Zero completed two cybersecurity testing events in April and May 2018 with no new vulnerabilities found. In June 2018, Block Zero had its third successful integrated launch rehearsal with GPS 3. The U.S. Air Force accepted the delivery of OCX Block Zero in November 2017, and is used it to prepare for the first GPS launch in December 2018. OCX Block 1 Civilian GPS-3 Features OCX Block 1 is an upgrade to OCX Block 0, at which time the OCX system achieves initial operating capability IOC. Once Block 1 is deployed, OCX will for the first time be able to command and control both Block 2 and Block 3 GPS satellites, as well support the ability to begin broadcasting the civilian L1C signal. In November 2016, the GAO reported that OCX Block 1 had become the primary cause for delay in activating the GPS 3 PNT mission. Block 1 completed the final iteration of Critical Design Review in September 2018. Software development on Block 1 is scheduled to complete in Q2 2019, after which the Block 1 software will undergo 2.5 years of system testing. Topic: <laughs> OCX Block 2 Military GPS 3 features, civilian signal monitoring. OCX Block 2 upgrades OCX with the advanced M code features for military users and the ability to monitor performance of the civilian signals. In March 2017, the contractor rephased its OCX delivery schedule so that Block 2 will now be delivered to the Air Force concurrently with Block 1. In July 2017, an additional nine months delay to the schedule was announced. According to the July 2017 program schedule, OCX will be delivered to the Air Force in April 2022. Contingency operations GPS-3 Contingency Operations COPS is an update to the GPS operational control segment, allowing OCS to provide block IIF position, navigation, and timing PNT features from GPS-3 satellites. The contingency operations effort enables GPS-3 satellites to participate in the GPS constellation, albeit in a limited fashion, without having to wait until OCX Block 1 becomes operational currently scheduled for 2022. The United States Air Force awarded the $96 million contingency operations contract in February 2016. As of September 2018, software development was complete, and component integration testing was scheduled to be completed the next month. Operational acceptance testing is scheduled for January 2020. Deployment schedule Topic See also GPS signals GPS satellite blocks List of GPS satellites Michibiki new Japanese designed and launched satellites designed to enhance GPS within Japan